Hey, where did they go? I heard Bob say it was time to go back to the yard and collect more materials. I wonder what we should do until they get back. Uh... Oh, I know! I'll use my architect skills to design a brand new shopping centre. Brilliant! Uh, no scoop, not brilliant. Trust me, I'll arrange the containers in a much more interesting way than the architect's boring old plans. Oh, no, 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 Bob will not like that. He will, but if he doesn't, but he will, we'll just put them back in the right order. Mm. And you can be my architect's assistant. What, me? You have a great imagination too, Lofty. Wow. That is true. Yes! Yeah, so let's get started. First, let's move that blue container side on against the red container. This will be where we cut out your serving window, Chef Tatty. And this will be where we put your stove to make more of these delicious meatballs. Mmm. <gasps> what in the name of nutmeg was that? I don't know. Let me check. Huh? Oh, it's stuck. Something's blocking it from outside. Oh, I am a genius. Now, put the yellow container side on against the blue one. Hmm. I think it would look better if we used the green one. No, Lofty. <laughs> that would just look wrong. I thought you said I had a great imagination. Of course you do. Just not as great as mine. What? But you are a great assistant. Come on. What is going on out there? Hello? Scoop! Lofty! Uh, they can't hear me, which means... We're trapped. No! Let's try again. All together now. Scoop! Scoop. Lofty! That is great. What do you think? Hmm. The shoppers will have to walk all the way round the outside to get to each shop. I don't think they'll like that. They won't mind. They'll just love that it looks so cool. Oh, and I've just had an even cooler idea. Lofty, pick up the red container. Pick up the red container. What? Pick up the red container, please, my wonderful assistant. That's better. If they can't hear us, we'll have to force open the door. On three, everyone. One. Two, three! Scoop, you can dig the path from the car park over there to the start of the walkway. Fantastismo! It's going to be the most amazing park ever! <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yeah! Amazing Scoop! Looking good. Yep. Nice sharp sides. Same depth all the way along. Now get it all nice and even and no gravel spilled over the sides. Yes! Amazing Scoop does it again. Awesome. Ooh, this is a nice path, Scoop. <laughs> Thanks, Lofty. Oh, it's just what I do, you know. Do you think Dash will notice how good it is? You can show him yourself. Dash is here! Yep. Just over. Ah! He is! Dash Lightning! Dash Lightning! Bob the Builder! The man who can! Hi, Dash. Wow! This is gonna be some walkway. I'll be back shortly to see you fix up my nameplate, but I have to see Sky first. <laughs> Don't finish before I get back, will you? Oh, don't worry, Dash. We'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dash, lightning. Oh, no. What? Dash is talking to Stretch. And? I wonder what they're talking about. Hey, Dash, I can't believe I'm talking to you. The honor is all mine, Stretch. Zoom. Boom. Dash Lightning loves his fans. My friend Scoop over there. He's your biggest fan. He's looking at me. I have to do something amazing. Hmm. He's an amazing digger. Do you want to see his work? I really do, Stretch. But later. Right now, I have to zoom a boom zoom. Love your work, guys! Ah! He's coming this way! 
I have to do something amazing! Like... like... Yes! I'll lift all that timber! Hurry, Scoop, hurry! Oh, no! Dash is going! Hoppa! Amazing! Scoop! Oh. I'm really stuck. Right, where's the timber for the walkways, Wendy? It should be over here. Hmm, that's odd. There's some here, but not nearly enough. What? Hold on, Bob. There's a piece over there. Here's another. And another. And another. Who wants to share a garage anyway, Lofty? I mean, I'd rather be on my own, really, instead of having someone get in my way all the time. That's not what you were saying before, Dizzy. Before, you were saying how much fun it would be. Well, it won't be now, will it? Because Shift has spoiled everything. I don't think that's fair, Dizzy. Thanks, Lofty. It's not that Shifter doesn't want to share with you. Huh? He's just upset because he thought he was getting his own garage. Oh. And it was me that got it hoped up in the first place, wasn't it? Oh, you're right, Lofty. This isn't Shifter's fault at all. Dizzy, did Shifter bring over that new box of bolts? I need it now. Yes, he did, Bob. But he's still carrying it round with him. Mm, right. I'll have to go and get it. Hi, Wendy. Is Shifter OK? Oh, I'm afraid not. He's hiding in the gravel store. He won't talk and he won't come out. We'll have to try and put this right somehow. And then we need to get the garages finished. Bob, could I try talking to Shifter again? I wasn't very kind to him just now and I really would like to share with him. Thank you, Dizzy. That's very sweet of you. Yes, it really is. Bob and I should have explained everything to Shifter before we started. But I'm sure you're the best one to talk to him. Come on, then. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry I was cross-shifter. Go away. Please, Dizzy. I, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I didn't mean what I said about not wanting to share with you. I really do want to share. And I love the idea of one red wall and one that's green with orange round it. You mean, like I want for my garage? Yes! And I've got a brilliant butterfly poster up, but there's room for another, so we could have a Dash Lightning poster too. <gasps> like Mox. Yes! Dash Lightning's so amazing. We can play Dash Lightning games. What does he say? Zoom! Boom! Lightning strikes twice! <laughs> I know lots of Dash Lightning games. Will you teach them to me? OK. Bob, can you and Wendy paint Dizzy's garage today? We certainly can, Shifter. Just as soon as you've given me those bolts. Oops. <laughs> and we finished building the new garages. Yay! Let's do it! Look up there! It's like the snow's made a kind of cliff. That looks really cool! Oh, yeah, it does. Anyway, it's time I got back to Wendy. No, wait, hold on, Tread. Watch me first. I want to do a spin like the one you just did. Still think you can be king of the road, do you? Off you go, then. Surprise me. I will. Watch this. Here comes a really mega super skit! Oh, was that it? No, no. Stay there, Trent. That was just a practice. Right, here comes the real thing. Go on, then. Last chance. <laughs> oh, no! Get out of the way, Trent! <laughs> Trent! Trent! <laughs> Can you hear me? 
I'm over here, Scoop. Oh, thank goodness. Are you okay? Well, oh, kind of. Oh dear. But I can't move. I'm completely stuck. Hold on, I'll dig you out. Oh, I'm sorry, Tread. The, there's loads of snow. This is going to take ages. But you won't be able to get all the way over here without snow chains anyway, Scoop. Find Wendy. She'll know what to do. Yes, OK. Good idea. I won't be long. Quick as you can, though, eh? It's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried down this hill. The avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread, I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. <laughs> Could you hurry up, please? I'm a bit, uh... <laughs> Is it over there? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> <sighs> oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, my cheers, Leo. Uh, no worries. Oh, not the phone again. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Hi, Chef Tutty. Oh. Is everything OK? I'm not sure, Bob. Do you have any idea where Tread is? Yes, he's here with me. Uh, could you ask him to get to the sushi bar as soon as he can, or my fish could go off and be ruined? I'll tell him right away, Chef. Bye. Yeah, uh, OK, great, Bob. Bye. I've got to roll. No, wait, Tread. Come back. Chef Tatty's waiting for you at the sushi bar. He said something about some fish going off. I know, I know, the fish. Gotta go, Bob. No. Oh. Ah, Tread. There you are. Sorry I'm late, Chef Tatty. No worries. Well, actually, I was starting to get a wee bit worried about my fish. Hmm. It doesn't smell off. <gasps> In fact, it doesn't smell at all. Huh? What are these? What's wrong now? Tiles? Oh, dear. If you've got the tiles, then what has Bob got? Huh? Uh-oh. Hello? Have you got a box there with my fish in it, Bob? No, I've just opened it and I appear to have a control panel. So who's got my fish? Oh, no. <sighs> huh? Hmm. Hello? Hi, Wendy. It's Chef Tatty. Are you by any chance staring at a fish? What on earth's going on? So, Bob, you've got the control panel and Chef Tatty has the tiles. And Wendy has the fish, which will be spoiled soon if it isn't refrigerated. And someone still needs to pick up Leo in the cupboard and drop them off at the sushi bar. I'm sorry, Bob. I should have told you. I was getting too busy. It's not your fault, Tread. Wendy and I should have picked up the right boxes. Well, I still try to do too much, and I wouldn't let anyone help. Oh... <laughs> Oh, no! Not more! And I promised to be so careful. Right, that's the roof finished. Now for the timber cladding. Oh. 
Huh? Who's been eating those? Flame? What are you doing here? Oh, no! Flame, it's you who's been knocking down the apples! Stop! <laughs> Flame! Come back! Flame! Come back! Stop! Okay, Muck. But I'd better make sure Flame stays on her side of the fence from now on. Oh, no! There are apples everywhere, and it's all my fault. Why is it your fault, Muck? Because I chased Flame. Because she was eating apples. Because I broke her fence. Because... Because? Because... I'll show you. I thought I'd knock down all the apples, and I didn't want to upset Chef Daddy. So, I put them here. Oh, Muck, it was Flame. Once she got into the orchard, she knocked down most of them. But if you'd told us, instead of hiding the apples, we might have realised it was Flame's fault sooner. Then I'm not going to hide things anymore. I'll give these to Chef Tatty. I'm not sure he'll be able to use those, Muck. Oh, but I still want to show him. Well, he'll arrive soon, so we need to fix the damage to the barn. Oh! Oh, <gasps> oh no! Oh! <gasps> oh! Get off! Get off! I can't shake it loose! What's happening down there? Bob? I accidentally hit the power box in the maintenance garage and now all the garage doors have closed and Scoop and Muck are trapped. Trapped? And now I've broken the scaffold tower, so you're stuck on the roof too. I can reach you. Oh, it's too dangerous with that bit of scaffold jammed on your hook, Lofty. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I did to make such a mess. Maybe you were working a little too fast without taking enough care, Shifter. Well, we need to think fast about how to get down from up here. We could use a ladder. Mm. But those are all stuck in the garages too. Could we build a ladder? Or a staircase or, or something? That's not a bad idea, Shifter. Perhaps you could use some of those empty pallets you cleared away. Yes, I could do that. But I'll need help. I can't help you, Shifter. Oh, no. Oh, but I know someone who can. <laughs> Tread! Tread, it's an emergency. I need your help to move the pallets back to the yard again. Come on! Uh, I'd love to, Shifter. I really would, but there's one problem. I'm surrounded. Oh, yes. I see. Sorry. <laughs> here. Right, young Shifter, here I am. Start loading me up. That's the idea, Shifter. Not so fast, Shifter. Take it easy. OK, Tread. Now I'll move yours. It's working. Back in the mow, Bob. We'll have you down in no time. That's it, Bob. I've used all of the pallets. Thanks, Shifter. Let's go, Wendy. Ooh. Do be careful, both of you. Uh, 
We're almost there. But we need two more steps to get down. Um, yes! I know what to do! Yes, I think so. Right, on three. Three, lift! Uh, yes! Now we have to move it. I'll come forward, you reverse, OK? OK. Take it slowly, Scoop. Ready? Now! Yay! Look, we're moving it! Well done, you two. Yes, you worked together really well there because you listened to each other. <sighs> I bet Shifter could lift that stone up really easily. I don't think so, Scoop. It's very heavy. Where is Shifter? He seems to have disappeared. Huh? <sighs> it's not like Shifter to go off on his own. He doesn't know his way around Spring City. We'd better go and find him. Wendy, Stretch, please would you stay here in case he comes back? OK, Bob. Will do. The rest of us will search the city. Right, team? Can we find him? Yes, we, we can! can. Where? Where else can he be? Help! Oh, help me, someone! Can anyone hear me? Hold on. Did you hear that? Hello? Huh? Shifter here. I'm stuck. <gasps> He's behind that hill. Quick, can let's go! Help me! Help me! Oi! Please help! We're here, Shifter! Shifter, what happened? Are you trying to be a digger or something? It's not funny, Scoop. I'm really stuck. Can you help me get the right way up? Why don't you pull your forks out? B because I can only move them up and down. And I'm going to do that. Th this happens. <laughs> oh, I can't control it, Bob. Wow! Oh! Oh, no! <gasps> I can't hold it. was your big moment. Well done. My camera drone! Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I've ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. OK. Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's OK, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And, Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. Whew! <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either, especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one! So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey? Mm? 
Chili Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I am ready for my big mo... Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you can! Oh, yes, you can. Right, team. Today we're going to be building an exercise trail. We'll be building five places where people can stop and do keep fit exercises at different areas around this park. So, we're going to start... Ah. Huh? Hi, Sky. Hi, oh. Team Bob. Everyone revved up and ready to build the exercise trail? Oh, yes. Yes. yes! That's the sporting spirit. But how will people know what exercises to do, Sky? Well, signs like this will show people what to do. See? This shows someone walking along a balance beam like this one. Ah! But why are we building them in different places and not all together in the same place? So people can run from one exercise to the next, Dizzy. It really gets you puffing and panting and your muscles working. Wow! And people can do all this? Of course! People can do anything if they try. You should always push yourself to the limits and never be scared to try something new. Wow. I would love to try something new. Do something I've never done before. Anyway, I'm running to Riverdale and back today. And after that, I can try out the exercise trail. <gasps> I can't wait. <gasps> See you later. Right, team, you heard Skye. She'll be back later and we've got an exercise trail to build. And I have to find something to do that I've never done before. Can we build it? Yes, we can! I've drilled all the holes at the other sites ready for the rest of the build, Bob. Great. Thanks, Scoop. Have you finished that chin-up bar, Leo? Yes, Bob. I'm just going to give it a quick test. Go, Leo! That's the sporting spirit. <laughs> right. So... We've got the press-ups and the monkey bars to do next. And then we'll finish off with the parallel bars. Scoop, as you finish the holes, Leo can help you put your rear bucket back on now. Will do. No problem, Bob. Oh, no! Uh-oh. No! The hoops! Now what have I done? Roly, what's going on? I've crashed into the dugout and I've ruined the basketball hoops. It's not like you to make a mistake, Roly. What happened? I was too busy thinking about my speech and all the people who will be coming. Don't worry, Roly. We can fix the dugout. And we can replace the poles for these hoops. But Betsy's here with the rockets and other people will start turning up soon. They'll see what a mess I've made. Betsy hasn't picked the rockets up from swimming yet. She just came to say she'd like to hear your speech, too. Oh, no. Not another one. I'll never be able to relax with all those people and machines watching me. They might be watching you, Roly, but you don't have to watch them. But what if I forget what building we've done? I'll feel really silly. You won't forget because Bob can remind you. Uh, can I? How? Bob can give you hand signals to remind you about everything we've done. Raking. Rolling and line painting. See? That's a great idea, Wendy. It certainly is. Now, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can!
Then, after all the gravel was packed down, we moved on to stage four, the asphalt. Um, um... Which Bob and Wendy spread out using rakes. And I... Uh, rolled nice and flat, like this. In stage five, Bob and Wendy painted the lines which mark out the court. Then, finally, they put up two new basketball hoops. And that is the end of my speech. Well done! Want to be a builder now. Thanks, Safi. But I only remembered what to say because Bob was giving me hand signals. But I only gave you two signals. You did all the rest yourself. Really? Did I? Wow! Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like like this one. Okay, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm gonna go. I'm going. Now. Go! <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? <gasps> ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Dinosaurs are the news! <laughs> it's okay, Scoop. It's just the wind again. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. Scoop. Slowly does it. Now, tell us what happened. I saw a dinosaur skeleton, Bob, at the gates. It was st 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 staring right at me. <laughs> oh, Scoop. No, you saw the Model T Rex skeleton, that's all. Teuton has just delivered it. Oh, oh, it really scared me. Actually, Bob, I've been scared all day, to be honest. But I didn't want to say anything because I wanted my friends to think I was brave. Scoop, it's OK to be scared. I still think you're brave. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Now, do you see, things are never really scary. Like the hedgehog and the wind. We just imagined that they were scary. Exactly. Now, come on. Visitors will be arriving soon and we've got a boneyard to finish. Great. Now we just need to fix the crow's nest back on and we're done. Hang on. There's only half of it here. Where has the other half gone? Uh, it was here earlier when I was talking to Scoop about how he's been collecting things. Scoop? Collecting things? Oh, no. You don't think he could have taken it, do you, Lofty? Uh, well, uh, I suppose, um... Hello, Mr. Bentley. Ah, hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'll be along soon to see that lovely ship all fixed up. Uh, OK. Great. Bye for now. Bye, Mr. Bentley. Right. We really do need to find Scoop. And fast. Can't 
find Scoop anywhere, Bob. Okay, thanks, Leo. Keep searching. Mark! Oh, hello, Bob. Mark, do you know where Scoop is? Uh, I know where he might be. Scoop! Huh? There you are. Hi, Bob. Listen, we need that crow's nest. Crow's nest? What's a crow's nest? That's a crow's nest. It belongs on the mast of the ship. We need it. Oh! I thought it was going to be recycled. It's an important part of the ship, Scoop. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe I should have checked before I took it. Well, yes, you should always check. But never mind now. Let's take it back and fix it to the mast. Steady. Hold it there. Perfect. Oh, hello, girl. You helped me find that strange ball. I wonder where it came from. Ah, the ball! So that's where it came from. Bob, this mast is missing its ball from the top. It is? Yes, you're right, Scoop. It is. I know where it is. I'll go and get it. OK, but be quick. Mr Bentley will be here any moment. Okay. Phew. <laughs> oh, look, they really love it. So do I. Well done, everyone. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. No prob. <gasps> Pilchard! How did you get up there? Oh, you were supposed to be looking after her, Scoop. I said it was a bad idea. What's she doing here? Oh, no! <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, it's all my fault, Bob. What happened was Tell it... me later, Scoop. Right now, we need to get her out of there. But how? We can't go in while the bears are there. It's not safe. Maybe I could lift my bucket over the fence. That way she could climb in. Pilchard! Here you go! Pilchard! Oh, think, Scoop. What does Pilchard like? I know. Quick, Bob, we need fish. Brilliant, Scoop. I just got some ready for the penguins' lunch. <laughs> Stop! Oh, no! Oh, Look over please here! Please don't hurt Pilchard. Lower your bucket, Scoop. Fishy, fishy! Nice fish for you. Uh-oh. I forgot bears love fish, too. Come on, Pilchard. Yes! Oh, you silly cat, Pilchard. I thought that bear was going to hurt you. Sorry, Bob. I should have known a building site wasn't a safe place for a pet. Especially not a site full of wild animals, Scoop. But I'm just so relieved she's safe. I brought her to work because Safi said she took her dog to school and... Hey! Safi's class is coming to the zoo this afternoon. We need to work extra fast to clear up. Yes, please. I really need to open the zoo now Pilchard's safe. Right. Let's go, team.
Pippa, you're in my way. Oh, sorry. You only had to say. Ah, I know where they'll be safe. Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. OK, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go. Oh. Yes, this place looks nice and safe. A little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Uh, not sure. Uh, an aeroplane? <laughs> OK. Lower your winch now. right -o, Bob. <laughs> I can't hold it. Lofty, are you all right? No, Bob. I can't move at all. What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it. But I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. <sighs> no, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me. And then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny, but maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, Two-Ton. Time for some tower power. Steady, Tiny. Ew! Oh, I'm so high up. <laughs> Hello down there! Whee! OK. Here goes. How exciting. Yeah! One crane for delivery to Curtis. Ready to go, Lofty? Ready to go. Drive on, Tutan. While you're gone, would you like me to put in some sections for you? Oh, uh, yes, please, Tiny. That would be a big help. That under, pull it tight. Make a bow and it's tied right. There. All secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Ah, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? Oh, oh that's not good. Whoa! <gasps> the ship! I'm Captain Bentley. I haven't connected the engine yet. He's going to drift out to sea. Back up, Lofty, quick as you can. Yes, Bob. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. Off we go, Lofty. Follow that ship. <laughs> Mr Bentley, drop the anchor. I don't know how. I'll stop him, Bob. <laughs> oh, messed. I can't reach. What? I can't reach. What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, gal? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in! I can catch her up. It's time to find your sea legs. Jump in, landlubber! It's all a dream, a terrible dream. Help me, Horatio. Mr. Bentley, drop the anchor. Oh, thank goodness for that. A rescue party. <laughs> Ahoy there! Steady as she goes. Here I am, Bob! <sighs> Hold on! Thank goodness you're here, Bob. <sighs> How do we drop the anchor? Like this. There. 
Let's hope it holds on the riverbed. Oh. Bob, well done. Not bad for a landlubber. I'm sorry I interfered with your work. When it comes to building, you're the captain. Thank you, Mr. Benley. I might keep the hat, though. Can we go back now? Whoa. The sooner the better. Ahoy! Yay! Right, team. We've got a ship to make ship shape. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Let's give it a test drive. Conveyor belt? What's that for? <laughs> it's to move the food around the restaurant, Scoop. Ready, steady. Lunchtime builders. Toot toot. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Mm. Fabulous, Chef Tatty. This is my favourite kind of dining. Last chance for lunch, Bob. <laughs> bon appetit. OK, I'll try this one. Mm. What do you think, Bob? tatty licious. Hey! <laughs> <sighs> well, Scoop, what do you think of the conveyor belt? I think it's magical. I can't believe Sylvain pulled that rabbit out of his head. Now that's proper magic, that is. Ha! That's not magic. This is magic. Behold! The colour-changing balls of mystery. Green, red, blue and purple, all sitting on the uh, uh, table. Abracadigger, Alakazala. is quite a good trick, Scoop. Oh, yes. It's brilliant. Do it again, Scoop. Yes, go on, Scoop. Do it again. Um, OK, then. Africa a Whoa, whoa, not so fast. Slow down. Slow down. Whoa! Oh, Stop! No. Stop! No, 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 no! Ooh. Ouch! Scoop, what have you done? Oh, I am so sorry. I, I was just trying to wow Muck and Lofty with a magic trick. Magic tricks take a lot of practice, Scoop. And preferably not using building materials or lunch. Oh, this is a disaster. You'll never finish before tonight's audience arrives. If we work hard, I think we can fix it in time. So, team, let's get to work. Anything I can do to help, Leo? Bob's put me in charge of building a giraffe house at the zoo. A giraffe house? Can I help, Leo? Can I? Oh, of course, Lofty. I expect it will be a really tall building, so I'll need your help. Come on, the sooner we collect up the materials, the sooner we can get started. Yay! OK, so I need six pieces of two by six. Six? That's not very many. Mm, that's what it says on the plan. And Bob knows best. <laughs> Yes, that's right. He does. And 20 pieces of 2 by 4 four cinder blocks, plywood sheeting, brackets, screws, hinges. No, that's 4 by 8 Oops, sorry. Too much to carry. 
We'll get Shred to help us out. Did somebody mention my name? Oh! Hi, guys! Hi, Hi. Judy. This is so exciting! I've seen Bob's plans and they looked brilliant. Ah, Bob's the best. So, one giraffe house coming up. Can we build it? Yes, we can! All right! All done. This is one tidy office. I think Wendy will be very impressed. Sorry, Bob, but I am sorting it out. Yes, it does look a bit messy. It's like I always say, a workplace needs to be kept tidy. Oh, is that what you always say, Bob? Ah, <laughs> hello, Wendy. I, uh, I was just, um, I finished the office. Yay! I've just seen it. Good job. Thanks. Told you I'd fix it. Hello, Trev. What's up? I think you'd better come along to the zoo, Bob. We've got a little problem. Uh-oh. Is this where the Christmas party's going to be, Bob? Is it? Is it? Yes, Lofty. Mr. Bentley said he would meet us here. Ah, oh, Bob, there you are at last. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I think the party centerpiece should go right here, don't you? Great idea. We'll build the giant sleigh in no time, Mr. Bentley. Wonderful. I love Christmas Eve. Oh, and of course, there's all the extra bits to do as well. Did he say extra bits? Uh oh. And so. We need to arrange the snow scene, the tree, and put up all these lights. I ordered hundreds. This will be the best Christmas party Fixum has ever had, all the way along the seafront as far as the galleon. That's all going to take some time to put up. But, but, it's Christmas, Wendy. We'll make sure Fixum gets its Christmas party, Mr Bentley. And it will be the best ever. Thank you, Bob. OK, team, let's get to work. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, the sleigh looks great, Bob. But what colour will it be? Well, I was going to paint it red. Oh, and gold. Huh? Yes, can it be red and gold? Uh, of course. You really do love Christmas, don't you, Mr Bentley? Yes, ever since I was a little boy, I've always dreamed of having the best possible Christmas party. Now, we need more snow and more lights. Wow, Mr. Bentley is so excited. <laughs> he is. But then who isn't? Uh oh, Mr. Bentley's coming. Oh, no. Do you think he'll want to change things again? Oh, Leo. Uh, ho, 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 Mr. Bentley. <laughs> Excellent Christmas spirit, Leo. Now, how about stringing lights from these candy canes? right up to the galleon's mast. Uh, we could do that, but we've hung so many already. Don't worry, we've got plenty more. 